Hello everyone, welcome back to the second uh, part of the Luxon extension relay with uh, Raspberry Pi. Uh, in the previous video we managed to create all these uh, eight uh, uh, relay extension and, uh, to and now we are able to control them from Luxon and uh, as you can see in here if I turn on the relay one on the live view looks on config it shows us it's on as you can see the late LED on the uh, relay extension it's on if I'm going here and turn it off the LED is off the relay is off but the locks on still shows me it's on the relay is off yeah and the locks on still shows me okay for this we need to do to be able to read a feedback to have a feedback from the Raspberry Pi to locks on how can we do that? Okay, if we go back in uh, on our script, uh, script in the Python, we had uh, this path: the output and the action, on or off. And once you choose a path, the Raspberry Pi will return the index yeah with the uh, template data updated oh, as in this case if i turn on on this one we have updated the um, uh, status okay how can we read this status zero or one what i've done on the second part of the uh, script we had another path yeah the IP address slash the relay actually it's the same uh, the script the same way but we have just one we are we re just read the status of each relay and then the return is just n no text and the relay output after each uh, uh, each command yeah the variable we read the status and display the status if i would do now relay 1 i just have one relay 2 still one relay three still one if I'm going here turn on the relay one the output is zero now we can take this one in our locks on config create an input select a virtual HTML input HTTP, yeah. Okay, paste. Uh, okay, we can do like the other ones in the same way. Okay. Relay one. Yeah, and now we have to type the address, the path, address C, okay, paste, we need an output to display our, our value, like in here, uh, slash V, 
when the input is zero, display zero. When the input is one, display one. We need only one decimal and well we can drag this one on the screen straight away and save and the cycle will be every 10 seconds we'll check this we have number one here for example just to know exactly how it's working if i change the target uh, to 5883 save every time when it's one the input value with one will output this number in there okay yeah every time actually we have number one input but the output is this and we need to make it one by one okay Copy. We will do fast forward. Okay, now we finished all the input. Uh, press F5. We have status. Yep. Just the status. Click and paste on the screen. We need the input one and input two. Okay, input one, we just need to make it pretty, okay, we do it underneath like this, okay, name, status, relay one okay live view we save it okay now we need to create it we choose the input if the a1 yeah if the input one the status from the relay okay it's zero and the uh, output of the relay is zero as well a2 zero the symbol for this status could be off display a text relay one it's on and the value one we might need it in the future okay the second row if the a1 it's one and the a2 is zero The relay it's on. Oh, so I made a mistake. That should be off. Why did I put it on? I don't know. Okay. Okay. No. Again. If the relay input A1 is 0, 
so the A2 stays on is off A1, yep, one, and A2. One, that's on. save again we do have it here on the status once we save it you'll be able to see will display on or off and the symbol okay the relay one uh, the status the relay is off turn it on and this should uh, change automatically it's updated after 10 seconds okay the relay one is off if i'm turning it off from here that should be uh, updated and then we will have uh, off 10 seconds okay we still have on in here, but based on our rules, physically the relay is off. Even if it shows me here on, I can check this. This is the real one. Yep, this will keep stay uh, off. Yep, turn it on. We wait 10 seconds and uh, the status will update it. Yeah, and now we can carry on and copy this uh, status for all of them and I will do it uh, fast forward finish now and we activate the live view and save extend this a little bit and in 10 seconds from restart all of them we will switch off oh, relay 8 have I done something wrong with relay 8 oh I didn't change it Keep in mind this um, uh, status box, we will use it in the uh, next video uh, to be able to read the uh, temperature sensor from the Raspberry Pi. We will use it in the same way and we will have a connected uh, temperature sensor and we will be able to read, display and take action. All of them are off. Relator comes on, on, on in here, 10 seconds and this will become on as well. Yep, all of these ones in 10 seconds we will have an update. 
Yeah. If we do a save to the mini server, all of them, all of them will show off, but on the status it will be the real status of each uh, switch. Yeah. If we go here, one 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 one, refresh. Turn it off, turn it off, turn it off, turn it off. All of them are off. We will have an update, all of them will become off. And that's it. Yeah, that's the best way I could find for the moment. And to be able to have a kind of uh, feedback. If I will be able to do something else in the future, I will come back with an update. Yep, thank you very much and see you in the next video. You will see me in the next video. Maybe you will see me, maybe not. We will see. Thank you.